Adam's with me now. He's the lead volunteer here at this particular centre. How long have you been involved, Adam? Oh, uh, coming up to nearly three years um, in January. I've been volunteering for, for, for my sins, so uh, no, but it's been good. So what, what does your role involve here then? Right, yeah, um, I coordinate uh, the volunteers uh, earlier. Uh, I think it was chatting to Janet, and uh, she walks dogs. Um, people come up and help out in various ways in the kennels, grooming and such like. Uh, I help out with the homings and the viewings of dogs. So if anybody wants a greyhound, um, I'll, sort of, I'll deal with them, find out what sort of dog they're after, uh, what their circumstances are. And then um, sort of hopefully point them in the right direction towards a home that, that they'll uh, home and adopt forever. Not everybody knows that much about greyhounds. They tend to think they're a bit hard to walk or need loads of exercise, which they don't. Um, and what we do is we, we give them all the facts, we give them leaflets, we'll show them the dogs, we'll, let, we'll take them out, we'll let them play with them, uh, you know, give them a walk around, uh, handle them for a bit, spend as long as the time they want to with the greyhounds, get the feeling for the hound, and then uh, if they want to go away and have a read, watch the DVDs that we'll give them, come back and, uh, and then we can sort them out with, uh, with the greyhound uh, when it's suitable for them. The volunteers are essential and we've got a good band that come here and to Bromsgrove, take all the dogs out for walks and out and on awarenesses and do home visits, all the sort of stuff that needs being done. They're a great set bunch and they, I mean they do it all for nothing so you can't knock them at all. What would you say to somebody in, in this part of the world who's thinking about maybe taking a, a retired greyhound or maybe a greyhound home? Oh definitely give it a go, they, they'll get one to suit your needs. If you like a lot of walking or a quiet one or a lively one or a young one, an old one, we've got all sorts here and we'll definitely find one to suit you. Well, Janet's with me now, one of the many volunteers here. How often do you come up, Janet? Once a week. Two hours on a Monday morning, once a week. Yeah, it's good, it's good exercise and it's wonderful therapy if you're having a bad day. <laughs> you know, you just, the dog wants a fuss and it's the vibes, it's wonderful. It's beautiful. I tell you what, I love your commitment because you were telling me you're, you're going to be here hopefully Christmas morning as well. Be, yeah, Christmas morning, yeah, we did it last year. There's quite a few of us here on Christmas morning, but yeah, it's, it's just, it's uplifting. It's bad enough out there, let's do something good for a change. The kennel's here, we've got around about 24 dogs. We have another kennel over at uh, Stowe Bridge. They have about 14, 15 dogs, so any time we've got about 38, 40 dogs sometimes. Uh, and we've been uh, reserve plenty of dogs in reservation at the moment. Uh, people been up, found the hound at the want, and uh, yeah, they're ready to go. So uh, just just in this month alone, I think hmm, must be at least ten dogs gone out. As far as I'm aware, this year we've got to be we've got to be heading for nearly the 200 dogs found a home mark this year. I would have thought that's fantastic. And, and finally, Adam, for anybody thinking about maybe homing a dog, what would your advice be? I would say j just come down. Have a look. Don't. I think people get wrapped up in the uh, the logic of it, the brain, you know, the sort of oh, the money side and stuff like that. And that is part of the deal. But I, I tend to find if you come down and just open up a bit with your heart, almost make the decision with your heart, because I tend to find those homings are the ones that really work. You know, they're they're the ones that um, I tend to find tend to do the best. Feel so special.